The Cross River State in southeastern Nigeria is known for its wealth of natural minerals and stunning scenery. It's the country's premier tourist destination. Now, as it approaches its governor poll in 2015, I'm joined by the state's current governor, Senator Lil Imoke, to talk about its future investment potential. Well, Governor Imoke, Nigeria is, of course, Africa's largest economy. What does the Cross River State contribute to this? Our focus has been on a non-oil dependent economy, and we've tried to position ourselves as a leading service economy in Nigeria. We focused on um, key areas, the mice industry, um, the hospitality and tourism industry. We've seen significant growth in that area with the growth in the middle class in Nigeria. So we're also seeing not just investment coming into those sectors, but we're also seeing that for Cross River State, we contribute about $10 billion to the economy, and that's over 3% of the total value of the Nigerian economy. Uh, this is in spite of the fact that in terms of population, we're just about 1.8%. Now, you've been the Cross River State Governor since 2007. How has it developed over that period of time, and what challenges does the state still face? It's grown significantly. As an administration, we focused on the people, and our policies have been designed to ensure that our focus remained creating wealth for our people. And that is what has driven the economy and our policies and our programs. One of the key things that we've done is to ensure that we have the appropriate regulatory environment uh, to uh, drive investment into the economy. We've also ensured that there's transparency in governance and we've ensured best practices across board. So as an administration, we focused in improving healthcare delivery to the people. Education standards have improved. We've gone from 27th position in external exams in the state, um, in Nigeria, to the fifth position um, in the last um, set of external exams. Um, we've also ensured that um, we've introduced a social safety net scheme that is working very effectively. Well, Ebola has been making headlines and the Cross River State is said to be at risk. So how well developed are your health facilities and crisis response? At the primary health care level, we can take care of 70% of our ailments. Today, we've gone from uh, slightly under 300 health facilities in our rural communities to close to 900. And with our hospitals, our secondary level hospitals, what we've done is ensure that we've put in place training and more importantly sensitization across board on the Ebola virus. Um, in terms of risk as a state, we don't see ourselves as um, being any greater risk than any other state other than the fact that of course we're the tourist destination in Nigeria. Economically speaking now, and the Cross River State is doing really well. It stands at 11 out of Nigeria's 36 states. But wealth disparity is still an issue. So how are you addressing poverty? From the beginning, I've always said that government must serve those who need government the most. And the only way to do that is to start from the rural dweller and making sure that the most vulnerable in society are well taken care of. So we introduced the social safety net schemes We've introduced free health care for children under the age of five and all pregnant women in the state. We've introduced um, uh, a number of agencies of government that are providing access um, to funds uh, for and, and capacity building for our rural farmers and our rural dwellers. And um, we're also creating avenues for them to get access to markets and creating much more value for their products. The main industries in the state are agriculture, minerals and tourism. So is this where the main investment opportunities lie? We have probably the fourth or fifth largest agrarian economy in Nigeria. Um, so there are significant in opportunities in agriculture and we're beginning to see that. But not just in the plantation economy. We're now looking at the entire value chain in agriculture happening in Cross River. In terms of mineral resources, we're also seeing um, significant um, additional investments um, in, in, um, in cement production. We have quite well over 50 companies quarrying um, and mining in the state and creating um, employment and opportunities. So those key are the key areas and we're, beginning, and we're seeing significant investment coming in. How open is the Cross River State to foreign direct investments and are there any government incentives to encourage it? One of the beauties of Cross River State is the fact that um, it's the only state in the country that has two free trade zones. 
and um, a third one is coming up. We're also working with the Federal Ministry of Trade and Investment to create the first economic zone out of Calabar. Um, of course, the fact that we already have two free trade zones means that we already have significant foreign direct investment coming in. Well, we have to speak about Boko Haram, which has been plaguing Nigeria. So how affected has the Cross River State been by this? We are very proactive as an administration about security. Clearly, if you're going to secure investment and if you're going to actually ensure that you are going to grow your economy, and one thing you must have is peace. So for us, Boko Haram um, does not and has not existed in Cross River State. We're beginning to believe that the containment efforts of the federal government um, in making sure that Boko Haram remains in the northeast part of the country would yield the results. So finally, although Cross River State has a very strong economy, it has been fought with some terrorist attacks and with elections looming. How safe is it for investors? Cross River State has not had any terrorist attacks. I think maybe what um, you may be referring to as terrorist attacks is maybe at best we've had some incidences on our waterways. Uh, sea, sea pirates or thieves. But we're working with the Nigerian police, the Marine police and the Nigerian Navy um, in dealing with those challenges. But none, nothing too significant, nothing that's affecting trade. We have the good fortune of being a state um, that is a border state. We're, we're well positioned um, because we have a seaport, an international airport. Um, so in terms of access, yes, there's, there's plenty of access into the state. And I think that's one of the attractions of Cross River State. But in terms of security, it's also tucked away in the corner of Nigeria. So access in and out of the state um, also um, is easily policed for us. It's also the headquarters of the Eastern Naval Command, um, the headquarters of the Army's Amphibious uh, Brigade. Um, so we have significant security presence in the state, which makes it a much safer place to do business. Governor Emoke, thank you. Thank you very much for having me.